Volkswagen released the Golf GTI back in 1976 and the Golf GTI was a legend. Or well, actually, it is a legend. But why? How does a tiny hatch achieve legendary status? Well, for us to understand why, we have to start at the beginning. Okay, not so far back. I mean like the 70s. Back then, one of VW's engineers saw potential in their new Super Mini, the Golf. So he gathered a few colleagues that was willing to work in their spare time on the new Sport Golf. After a while, they showed their work to their higher ups. And what do you think they thought about this new Sport Golf? Well, they loved it. And in 1975, at the Frankfurt Motor Show, VW unveiled the Golf GTI. It got a different interior and a chin spoiler, but other than that, it looked like a normal Golf. But the special thing was under the bonnet. They fitted the Golf with a 1.6 litre fuel injected engine that made 80 kilowatt and 137 newton meters of torque, which isn't a lot, but remember, the Golf only weighed 800 kilograms. This resulted in a 10 second 0 to 100 and a top speed of 183 kilometers per hour. And yes, by today's standards, that's quite shit, yeah. But remember, this was in the 70s and it was a small affordable hatchback that was putting out these numbers. But Golf wanted to improve, and in 1982 they released a GTI that was fitted with a 1.8 litre engine. This didn't raise the power by a lot, but it added some more torque, and it brought the 0 to 100 down to 9 seconds. To put that into perspective, the 1982 Ford Mustang GT 5 litre V8 did a 8.2 second 0 to 100. In other words, a huge 5 litre V8 barely outperformed this tiny 4 cylinder hatch. And because of how light the Golf was, she was great in the corners too. Look, it's a different experience taking one of these out. Remember back then, there was no power steering, no brake booster, no fancy electronics. You had a heavy steering wheel and fairly unsensitive brakes. Not bad brakes, but you really had to step on them. So why do people love them so much? It's easy, because the cars spawn cars like the 205 GTI, the Civic Type R, the Delta Evo, and many more amazing hatches. The whole idea of a super light tiny hatch with a big engine is an awesome idea. It creates an amazing power to weight ratio and puts a huge smile on anyone who drives its face. So we thank the Golf for all the hot hatches that has come because of it. Oh, and before I get comments saying the Golf isn't the original hot hatch, I know, but it's the car that made people fall in love with the idea of a hot hatch and thereby spawning the whole generations and many other hot hatches. These days it's almost impossible to find a clean MK1 Golf GTI with no rust. They are either modified or just rust buckets. Look, I am someone who loves modifying cars, but a 1982-1800 GTI in its original form would be a dream car for my future garage. And just a random fact, the MK1 Golf was produced in South Africa up until 2009. In other words, the car was made from 1984 to 2009. That's 25 years of reduction. That's how successful the MK1 Golf was, here where I live. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I've got many more videos. I've got bike videos, car videos, videos like this one, list videos. I've got a whole build series on my personal car. This must be something you would like. Please go through it, check it out. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I. On my own, but I don't know why you hit the road, but you don't.